Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to practice the relational or comparison operator in DBMS and we will also see how we can concatenate the value of two or more columns in DBMS. So let's start the practice with a brief description of relational operator. Here for, uh, for example, we have taken two dummy variables x as 10 and y as 20 for, for the first relational operator that is equal to operator and second is not equal to. So this is the symbol for not. So here if the value on the left hand side is equal to right hand side then it will return a true otherwise or false. So as we can see for these two variables they are not equal to each other. So equal to operator will return a false but not equal to operator will return a true value. Next operator is greater than and next is less than. I hope you can easily understand as 10 is greater than 20 not greater than uh, 20 so we are getting a false here but if we are checking for the less than operator then it will return a true because 10 is less than true next operator is greater than equal to and less than equal to where we are checking for greater than and less than condition along with the equal to condition means either the left hand side can be greater than or equal to the right hand side in both cases or in any of the case means greater than or equal to we will be getting a true otherwise a false value suppose we have the two variables as 10 on left hand side and also on the right hand side then greater than operation will return a false value because left hand side 10 is not greater than right hand side 10 but if we are using greater than equal to operator then we will be getting a true because left hand side operator is not greater than but equal to equal to right hand side variable okay similarly is the case with the less than equal to operator next for concatenating the column we will be using this double pipeline operator we will directly practice this with with the command prompt for implementing these operator we will be using where clause logical operator and and logical operator or and in the case of add okay these are like binary operator means we are having some expression on left hand side and some expression on the right hand side in between you can use and or or now the difference between and and or is this if both expressions are returning the true value only then and will return a true otherwise it will return a false that's why the first row means if the both inputs are true okay only then the and is returning a true value otherwise we are getting false but for the or operator if either of the condition means either of the expression is returning a true value then we will be getting a true output from the or operator and last we will be also using the like operator for the string comparisons like and with like operator we will be using two options underscore that is representing one character in the string and the modulus operator or this percentage symbol representing zero or more characters so we will be practicing these operators means uh, where clause logical operators along with the relational operators in the queries directly with the queries so let's start here the table that we have taken for today's uh, practical is employee table here you also need to understand the inputs here the employee number is a primary key this is the employee name and this is the job description of the employee and this is the manager means who is the manager of this employee so here this manager is a foreign key that is referring primary key of the same table and this column is representing salary and the last is the department okay so Firstly, let, let's practice the like operator, select star from EMP. If you have any doubts regarding the string op operators or the functioning of like operator, then you can see the video for the practical number six, okay, where we have detailed description of all these uh, string operations. So here, select star from employee, where suppose we want to select the uh, job uh, all the records where job description starts with a capital E okay so for strings you need to use single quotes and the like operator will automatically match all the records all the rows of the table where the job column means the entry in the job column start with a capital E here the entries of the table means you can write the select 
from anything with uh, in in any case means lower case or upper case but where you are matching the values of the table then you need to use the same case as e is in capital uh, case here then we also need to use the same case for the query okay select star from employee where job like this okay so these are the resultant records now if we club this query with a with the and operator and and you can also write the and in capital that will make no change uh, but the values of the table should be in the same case okay and suppose we want to check where salary is equal to first relational operator is our equal to 45000 okay so we will be getting only one record where job is engineer and the salary is 45000 okay so if you are using it with or clause then what will happen with and it uh, the uh, it is checking for both the condition to be true means job should be uh, job description should uh, should start with e and salary should be exactly equal to 45000 but if you are using or clause then it will display the records where either the job description is starting with e or the salary is 45000 okay so with or you will be getting the uh, all the records where the job is engineer or the salary is 45000 okay so this is the case means with or uh, either of the condition if either of the condition is satisfying either the job description uh, is satisfying the condition of first initial letter as e or the salary satisfying the condition of 45000 we are getting the records as a result okay now let's try another relational operator that is less than and greater than so firstly i am checking for greater than symbol where the salary is greater than 50000 okay so i think only one record is satisfying the condition so let's convert this or operator to and operator So here the job is engineer and salary is greater than fifty five thousand, so we are getting only one entry because only this record means employee with ID three zero one is satisfying our condition. So let's change the greater than symbol to less than symbol. Here we will be getting other two records means where the salary is not greater than fifty thousand means salary is less than. Uh, fifty thousand and the job description is starting with E, capital E. Okay, so these are two operators. Next we have the greater than equal to operator where the salary is greater than fifty thousand, greater than equal to fifty thousand, and the job description start with E. Okay, so for this you are getting only one record because you have only one entry where the salary is greater than fifty thousand and the job description is starting with E. okay but if we change the query to 65000 now we need to check the entry where job description is with e and the salary is either greater than or equal to 65000 so we will be getting only this record where the salary is not greater than 65000 but equal to 65000 okay so we are getting the same record as output now if we convert this to less than symbol with and operator so we will be getting other two records okay not only two we are getting three records i think you can uh, guess why we are getting 65 uh, record with 65000 entry here because the other two records are satisfying the condition just because the salary is less than 65000 but this middle record mean this this second record is satisfying the condition because the salary is satisfying the equal to criteria here the salary is equal to 65000 okay i hope you are understanding this concept means where we need to use greater than less than equal to etc relational operator next we will see how we can concatenate the value of two or more columns so let's start i am going to concatenate the value of first two column means employee number and employee name and uh, we will be writing like this employee number concatenated with employee name from emp okay so here the entries are going to be this 120 is employee number and last letter here the last letter capital letter is representing the name 
okay because we have uh, for just for the sake of simplicity i have used only one letter as the employee name so here these uh, last letters are representing the employee name and first three digits are representing the employee number but just for the clarification of our result we can concatenate one more string with the result and that string is going to be a space now we have concatenated employee number with a space and with employee name so three strings are getting concatenated in 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 these type of queries everything means this is not a string still it will be considered as a string and the result resultant value will be a string outcome here the result is more sorted now means we are getting a space within between the employee number and the name okay we can also we can use this record for the clarification means we can concatenate the record just to understand the results or the entries of the table or we can also store this result in another table okay so for this let's create a table a new table we are going to create a new table where we will be storing this concatenated result and we are giving it the name employee one the column uh, next we need to define the column name here uh, i am taking only one name employee uh, number underscore employee name because we are concatenating employee number with name as select employee number concatenated with a space concatenated with employee name and the source table is from emp okay so we are creating a new table with one only one column we are not uh, please note down we are not specifying the data type of the new column we are simply providing a command where it will calculate the data type and the values for the new column okay of the new table employee one so here is the result we are getting table is created so we have created a table employee one with the column name as employee number underscore name okay now let's display the records of this new table and here is the only column means because we have created only one column in the new table so this is the column with this value okay you can also check the structure of this new table so the type of data type of the new uh, tables column is character type means this is concatenating the result here we are concatenating the result and the result the uh, after concatenation we are getting a string suppose this is a number this field was of number type still we are getting a string as a result of the concatenation operator because these are string operator and they will uh, uh, they will only return a string okay i hope you learn the relational and comparison operators from this video in next video we will be having a brief description of logical operators that are going to be uh, very helpful when we are extracting the records from one or more uh, two or uh, more than two tables so See you next time till then bye and take care